Administrators with Greenville County Schools have released details on an optional plan for students to get back to in-person learning. But as 7 News' Melanie Palmer explains, it all depends on the overall coronavirus numbers in the county on any given week. A high school parking lot that may soon be filled. It's all part of the Greenville County School District's plan to give students in-person classroom options. Enjoying the last months of summer before school is back in session. I'm not going to send him back to school if it's not going to be safe. But when it is, Greenville mom Mary Dillard says she's going to be extra careful of where she sends her son. And for this mom, I feel like it would be good for them to get back to some normal life. And now there's an option for Greenville County students to do just that. Spokesperson Tim Waller with the district tells us the goal is to have a typical five day in person school week. But if that's not safe, they have a plan in place. Say there uh, is a week where based on a number of criteria, uh, students should only go two days a week uh, while spending the other three days of that week e-learning. That's why we have the color coding. Students will be assigned a specific color based on the first letter of their last name. From there, they can find out which days they will attend class in person versus e-learning. We would have students who are uh, red and blue go on Monday. Then students who are green and purple go on Tuesday. But some parents like this mom are not fully on board with this idea. They're disappointed that it's broken up with the names um, categorized by last name because um, where they fall, a lot of their friends aren't going to be in their group. Other parents are concerned about what this all means if they have kids in different grades at different schools. Waller says that's something school principals can work around to get them on similar schedules. Other parents, like Irina Osborne, regular school, no, I'm not comfortable, are avoiding it altogether and plan to keep their kids home come fall. Tim Waller with the district says the school schedules will not be changing erratically from week to week. He says they're hoping to start off the school year on a normal five day a week in person schedule. However, he says his plan is ready so the district can adapt to anything that comes up. In Greenville, Melanie Palmer, 7 News. And to be clear, this is optional for students. The district also has the virtual learning plan for students as well. Uh, for more on this in-person school option, including that chart that we showed you in the story that breaks it all down, just head to WSBA.com.